Peace, peace, black family. Peace and love, black family. This is Underground Warrior TV. If this is your first time coming into my channel, make sure you mash up the likes, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Comment, subscribe to the channel. Don't be a hater. Don't hate on my channel. I got so much hate lodged against me because of this channel. It is ridiculous. It is insane that you hate on my channel so much, you try to keep my numbers down. I must be saying something right. I must be saying something right. I must be disturbing the rulership of white supremacy. I must be disturbing the house Negro because I bang on the house Negro. You feel me? Please mash up the likes, share the video, subscribe to the channel. They don't want me to do numbers. They don't want me to do numbers. And I'm bringing nothing but the heat. They don't want me to do numbers. Family, we got a case where another one of our young kids was snuffed out by the police, black people. You have to understand that we have a small margin for error when we come in contact with law enforcement. Anytime we break the law, we're calling on law enforcement in a sense to come and arrest us. So we have a small margin for error. When those people, the police, come in contact come in contact with us, we can lose our life. Statistically, every nine minutes here in America, black people are being racially profiled, racially motivated, killed by cops, or racially motivated assaults. Up on top of all that, these cops feel they have the right justification to kill our people. We have a small margin for error. A young teenager, 14 years old, Jordale Richardson of Aurora, Colorado, makes a small error. Makes a small error by being influenced by his teenage friends to rob a convenience store, not for money, but for a vape canister. This brother lost his life over a vape canister. True indeed the reason why he was murdered because he is black. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about that we have a small margin for error. So sometimes black people, we have to educate our kids about this world. Quit trying to stop your black kids from knowing about this world. Because once you educate your black kids how racist it is towards the black people, and maybe your kid or your child will make a better decision in life. The young teens displayed a pellet gun inside the store by raising up the shirt. Uh, Jordell Richardson was tackled by two police. Police Grizeka was the shooter. They tackled this brother. He was well subdued. I don't care if he had a pellet gun inside of his pants. You have no reason to shoot him. You had him subdued. You actually turned him over and shot him in his abdomen. You shot him in the stomach. You are a coward ass cop. You knew that you tackled some young kid. This is how cowardly 
police are in America because they can hide behind the color of the law to commit genocide against black people. And my thing is this. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris have not tried to pass any laws to protect black people from police brutality. You know why? Because it's a mandate in this country to control the populace of black people. You think it's far fetched. This is why nothing happens when they kill one of us. It's a mandate. Fam, these people have a propensity to kill, beat, lie, falsely accusing, falsely arrested. Yeah, Aurora, Colorado police remember in 2019 the killing of Elijah McClain. They placed McClain, Elijah, in a chokehold until he passed out and then they hit him with the, uh, injected him with ketamine. They call the paramedics. The paramedics and the cops in Eric McClain's case. Elijah McClain claim case Elijah McCain claim case need have been put in the penitentiary and throw away the key the paramedics and cops should have went to the penitentiary for killing our brother Elijah McClain this is in 28 2019 when they killed this brother We have to uh, educate our kids, y'all. You know, uh, it's ridiculous. It's absurd that one have to die for stealing a vape canister. After the kid was subdued, the cop took it up on himself to scream, gun, 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 dude, I'm gonna shoot you. You had the upper hand. This cop had the upper hand. He could have took that gun like I thought he did and threw it and he shot him in the stomach. Cold, calculate murder. Check out the flick. This video presentation is used as fair use as a disclaimer for educational purpose only. All instrumental music is used as fair use location purpose only as a disclaimer. Now to the body camera video just released of police in Colorado chasing down and fatally shooting a 14-year-old robbery suspect. His family now demanding answers and accountability. ABC's M. Wen has more, and we want to warn you that some of this may be tough to watch. Get on the ground, roll, please! This morning, the family of Jordell Richardson demanding justice after authorities released this video showing Aurora, Colorado police chasing, struggling with, and then shooting the black 14 year old. Oh, please, you got me. No. Police say they believed Jordell had a gun. That officer firing a single shot into his abdomen. He's saying he's Give me medical fast. Hang with me, bud. What's your name? Police say Jordell later died at the hospital. Interim police chief Art Acevedo also showing images of Jordell with a group of teens in a convenience store moments before the pursuit. He alleges Jordell pulled up his sweatshirt to threaten the clerk with a pellet gun before he says the group makes off with vape cartridges. Police originally said it was a semi-automatic handgun, but Acevedo days later clarifying that statement, saying it was a pellet gun and that they're investigating where it was when the officer fired that shot. Pellet guns can cause serious injury, serious bodily injury, or death. It is a tragedy. Now protests erupting in Aurora, with the Richardson family at the forefront, calling on Acevedo's resignation. This is so wrong. And ain't nothing they can do to bring him back. 
The Aurora Police Department says the officer involved in the shooting has been placed on paid administrative leave. A criminal investigation is now underway, running in concert with an Internal Affairs Bureau investigation. Gio. All right, and thank you so much for that. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching. Sad situation. He on the ground apologizing, saying his friends made him do it. Apologizing. This cop had no reason to shoot this young kid. And only reason he shot this kid because the kid was black. Black people in America, these people are killing our kids. Until we stand up, when this voting shit come off, we need to stand up and tell those people that you voted for that we need change. We need reparations. We need land. We need a hate crime bill to protect black people. We need our own city and state, America. We built this country. If it wasn't for black people, the African America wouldn't be what she is today. You feel what I'm saying? She wouldn't be what she is today. She wouldn't be what she is today. Peace and black power. Mash up the like, share the video. Sad situation. He on the ground apologizing, saying his friends made him do it. Apologizing. This cop had no reason to shoot this young kid. And only reason he shot this kid because the kid was black. Black people in America, these people are killing our kids. Until we stand up, when this voting shit come off, we need to stand up and tell those people that you voting for that we need change. We need reparations. We need land. We need a hate crime bill to protect black people. We need our own city and state, America. We built this country. If it wasn't for black people, the African America wouldn't be what she is today. You feel what I'm saying? She wouldn't be what she is today. She wouldn't be what she is today. Peace and black power. Mash up the like, share the video.